Hi everybody, it's FIBO Group and you are watching to the Market Watch Review. Asian Pacific stocks fell following US losses before the weekend. European stocks are moving higher and stock 600 is increasing for the third session. Futures in the US are stable to rising. The dollar is generally weaker. The majors are led by the Scandies, while Hungary and Poland are the leaders in the emerging market complex. After rallying to $1.60 in the past two sessions, gold is consolidating. September WTI has seen a more than 6% drop in three days. Near midday in Europe, it hovers around $9 to $5.50. Asian Pacific Market According to reports, China may support property developers. Given their importance in China's second-largest economy, they could be too big to fail. Japan saw nearly 900,000 cases of COVID increase in the week ending Friday. This is nearly 7 to 5% more than the previous week, when the number of cases almost doubled. Last week, the dollar fell below its 20-day moving mean against the Japanese yen. This was the first time it had fallen in almost two months. It could be found today at JPY 136.85. It might take a break in the 135.40 area for it to signal a new leg, with the first target at 134.50. The Australian dollar reached a peak of $0.6975 just before the weekend. This was a one-month high. It then fell to $0.6880 before finding new bids today and recovered to $0.6945. Market of Europe Last week, the EC President von der Leyen demanded a 15% reduction in gas consumption over the next eight months, starting on a voluntary basis and becoming mandatory if Russia reduces gas supplies to Europe. At least five countries were pushed back. At the end of this week, the Eurozone reported its preliminary estimates of July CPI and second quarter GDP, expected increases in headline and core inflation. Inflation expectations are however falling. The five-year, five-year forward is now below 2.0%, down from 2.5% in late April, early May. After a 4.5% drop in the last week, the euro is still firm. In the $1.0270-80 region, the upside momentum had slowed. Although sterling remains firm, it has not yet taken out the $1.2065 pre-weekend high. Tonight's one-on-one -on -one debate between the Tory candidates Sunak and Trust will be their first. Market of America The dollar's appreciation will be more prominent as the U.S. corporate earnings reports increase. There are two main sources of impact. Exports are the first. Exports from the USA are at an all-time high. The second channel is the conversion of foreign earnings into dollars. This channel is the most important. The US dollar's recovery continued that started before the weekend. However, it reached CAD 1.2825, which was a new low for this month. That's all for me, closely monitor the news background and be prepared for all the surprises of the market.